Today we're gonna to take a look at Hoobs. Homebridge out of the box. Integrate all of your smart home accessories into HomeKit. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out another video. For those new here, my name is Shane, and on this channel I'm building an affordable smart home using HomeKit, so if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe. Check the bell icon so you don't miss out when I post a new HomeKit video every week. All right, so today we are looking at HOOBS. This stands for HomeBridge Out of the Box. Full disclosure, the folks over at Hoobs did send me this unit here to review, but this is an honest review. All the opinions in this video are 100% mine, and this is my honest review about this product. Okay, so with that said, first of all, what is Homebridge for anybody that may not know? Homebridge is actually a lightweight server uh, that you can run on a Raspberry Pi or, or a computer that allows you to integrate all of your smart home products into HomeKit. So for example, those products that wouldn't normally support HomeKit, such as you know Nest, Thermostat, Ring Doorbell, uh, those products you can integrate into HomeKit using HomeBridge. The integrations or plugins are actually built by the community. So HomeBridge is community driven. There's a lot of people out there doing some really great things, building plugins, supporting each other. But HomeBridge often takes a lot of time, troubleshooting, uh, some coding experience is very helpful here, which is why I have actually tried to stay away from HomeBridge um, up until this point. I just wanted stuff that's really reliable that I don't have to tinker with and troubleshoot too much. Um, but I heard about Hoobs. Um, maybe if you're new to HomeKit or, or don't have a lot of coding experience and things like that, this product right here really aims to make the HomeBridge experience a lot easier. In fact, they claim that their goal is to make HomeBridge more accessible to new and ex inexperienced users. Uh, they aim to unify, simplify, and make the HomeBridge ecosystem more user friendly. Spoiler alert, I do think they do that. I think they accomplish that goal. There's actually three installation options that you can, uh, that you can get through Hoobs. They have the all-in-one solution, uh, Hoobs in a box, which is what I've got here. Uh, they claim this is best for beginners. This box here costs $129. They have the pre-flash Hoobs micro SD card that you can purchase. Uh, this is kind of for intermediate level, they say. This costs um, $12.90. Um, and they also actually have the Hoobs package that you can download for free. Um, so you can actually go to their website. Again, links for everything will be in the description below, but you can go to their website if you're already running Homebridge or you're looking at it, you're not afraid to tinker with it a little bit and you're setting up your own uh, server on a Raspberry Pi, something like that, you can actually download Hoobs for free and start using their interface um, to kind of control your home bridge. I've actually set this up in my home, been using it for a few weeks now, uh, tinkered around with it a little bit. I actually set up my Roomba. The current version is Hoobs 2 point something um, right now. Uh, they actually sent me the Hoobs Beta 3 version, so uh, if it's not out already, Hoobs 3 version will be coming out soon, so we're gonna take a look at the interface and some of the changes there. But before we do that, let's go ahead and open up the box, take a look and see what we get with this all-in-one hoops in a box option. So now if we just take um, our little hoobs box here, we've got a USB, uh, micro USB power. We'll plug in right there with the plug on the other end. Right here is where our ethernet jack goes. So we'll plug the included ethernet cord and we'll plug this directly into our router. This will actually work off of Wi-Fi as well. So if you cannot connect this directly to your router, um, there is a Wi-Fi option where you can set this up to work with your Wi-Fi, which I actually did successfully as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my router, which I would recommend because you're just gonna get the best connection that way. Okay, so we've got everything plugged in. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up our computer and we're going to visit hoobs.local. And the first time, may take a minute to boot up. 
Once you do, you'll get the login screen. And you can see in this other tab I've got open here that I'll bounce back to hoobs.org every now and then. They've got really good step-by-step -step instructions and tutorials to help you along the way if you run into any issues, but it's really pretty simple. And the first time you log in, your username and password are both admin, and you can change this later. And once we are successfully logged in, um, this is Hoobs version two. So you'll see to the left our QR code and we'll scan this QR code on our phone. And this will add Hoobs as a new bridge into our home kit. And it'll tell us that this is not an approved home kit accessory and we will just click OK. So now we can see Hoobs is in our home kit just as any other bridge which means any accessories that we then connect to Hoobs will show up in HomeKit. So back here on the main dashboard, uh, this is kind of just a status page. So what we'll do real quick is we'll go over to the user section and you can actually add multiple users. So we're gonna add a new user and I'm going to create a new one for myself. Um, that way I can delete that default administrator user Okay, and that user was successfully added. And now I can go up here and just delete the default user. And there we go. All right, and that is Hoobs version two. And without getting too far into this, we're gonna go ahead and switch this up and I'm gonna show you Hoobs version three. This is version three beta. Um, this will be released to the public before too long. So I wanted to kind of show you the rest in this version because if it's not out already, it will be out soon. And this most likely will be what you're looking at. So here we're presented again with that login screen. You can see it looks a little different than before. I'm gonna type in that user name and password that I previously created. And here you can see on the dashboard, a little different than the version two. Uh, we've got the weather, we've got a section for our favorite accessories. We of course have the status over here to the right and um, up top, as well as that same QR code that we can use to scan into our home kit. All right, so let's discuss kind of what we have over here first. Um, we have our dashboard, which is where we're at here. It gives you an overview. Here is my existing accessories. You can edit accessories, add them to rooms. Um, so I can create a new room right here. Call this living room, just for, any, for example. Um, delete this room. So you can create various rooms. Over here is just the log, complicated code stuff. Here's your user information where you can change your password. And this right here is the beautiful thing about Hoobs. This is the plugin section. And uh, I think starting with version three, they have plugins that are, um, I guess, certified through Hoobs or approved through Hoobs somehow. I'm not sure what that process looks like to get uh, a plugin certified through Hoobs, but they have all these here that have already been approved and they've got these categories. So you can see right here, your Nest thermostat. Click on that. And this is a Hoobs certified plugin. You can see right here, I can simply install this just by clicking the install button. I can click on the NPM, which will take me to that website and show me the information on this plugin if you wanted to. Um, but all that information is basically right here. They just make this so easy and great to set up, especially some of these common uh, accessories that you might wanna incorporate. They've got the Xiaomi vacuum cleaner right here, a plugin ready to go for hoops. So it's so easy when they've certified some of these plugins. Check this out guys. They have a plugin right here. Look how easy this is to install a plugin for your ring doorbell and ring cameras, right? Just install this, okay? Lighting, outdoor plugins. There's your Chamberlain MyQ. You can in integrate that. Check this out. They've even got an, a plugin for your Google Home where you can incorporate that into um, your home kit. So, you know, pretty cool stuff. And here you can just search. So if I wanted to search for my Roomba, 
a plugin for my Roomba. Here is all the plugins that you that are out there right now, again, created by the community. This one right here, this first one is actually the one that I installed. And again, I'll put instructions, step-by-step uh, -step instructions on my website um, if you want to follow along with that. Again, here are our existing accessories. I only have the Roomba in there right now. Let me show you real quick what my Roomba looks like in HomeKit. How cool is this? If you open it up, uh, you can just turn it on and off right there. Obviously, you can scroll down in the settings. You can see the battery level of your Roomba in HomeKit. I can see if it's charging or not. Um, and, you know, common stuff like what room it's located in, things like that. Um, but how cool is that? So now I have my Roomba in HomeKit and it's not even a HomeKit supported device. So that's the kind of stuff that you can do with Hoobs pretty easily. And if we go to uh, this menu up here, uh, you can see my profile, which you can, you can check out. Here you can stop running Hoobs and HomeBridge. You can restart everything. This will reboot the whole Raspberry Pi. This device that they sent is essentially just a Raspberry Pi, um, but right here we can reboot the, uh, the device. One nice thing that I've been told will be added once this public version is released. Um, in this menu here, there's going to be a option for backup, restore, and a factory reset. That's really good if you're somebody like me who might get in here, start tinkering around and mess things up. What you can do is if you get things looking good, how you want them, back it up, save backups on your computer. Uh, if you mess things up, you can restore from a backup. And then of course, if you completely blow everything, you can always do a factory reset. And having those options here in this menu will just make that really easy to do. Um, configuration, system, help, terminal. Uh, configuration so here is a lot of stuff that you can kind of get into um, right here is where my Roomba accessory is okay so this is added after I added that um, plug-in and this is information that I had to fill in um, and again I'll have those instructions on my website on how I did that so this menu right here has some stuff here's the terminal occasionally you might have to get in here and do a little bit of coding run some stuff i did have to do this to set up the roomba uh, and again if we go back to configuration you can see here um, you know this right here is basically where all your accessories are it might seem a little intimidating looking at it but trust me it's not Okay, so there you go. That's pretty much Hoobs in a nutshell. As you can see, um, I've got my Roomba working in there. I've been, I was able to install some other plugins. Um, my overall thoughts on this is that it is pretty awesome. I would definitely recommend this for anybody who has maybe thought about using HomeBridge but been a little intimidated by the coding and stuff. Maybe you transitioned to HomeKit after you already purchased a bunch of other products like you know, Ring and Nest, Google Nest and things like that. Uh, products that don't work with um, HomeKit, then this would be a great product if you want something that's easy without doing all the coding to incorporate all those products into your HomeKit setup. And this also may be a great option for those of you who are already using HomeBridge who just want, you know, a nice clean interface. Again, installing plugins is real easy with this. You can go download that free uh, Hoobs package from their website. You can run this kind of on top of your existing HomeBridge setup on your Raspberry Pi or whatever you're using. So my question to you is, are you already using HomeBridge? And if so, what are you doing with it? Does this seem like something you guys might be interested in? For me personally, I don't have a whole lot of non-HomeKit compatible products, but I did get my Roomba connected in there. I did have it working previously through Shortcuts, which uh, I did a video for that as well. I'll leave a link in the description uh, if you choose not to go the HomeBridge route. But having my Roomba inside of my HomeKit setup is pretty cool. I can include my Roomba in scenes now, as well as automations and things like that, which you know is what we love about HomeKit. Thanks everyone for watching. Again, my name is Shane, and on this channel I'm building an affordable smart home using HomeKit, putting out new HomeKit videos every week, so be sure to subscribe, check the bell icon so you don't miss out when those videos are uploaded. And um, until the next time, we'll see y'all later.